The assassination of former Prime Minister Abe is being felt here in Utah. Governor Spencer Cox ordered flags to remain at half staff until sunset on Sunday. Fox 13 News reporter Brian Champagne visited a Japanese American gathering today where thoughts were focused on the homeland. Sam and Chihiro welcome well-wishers to their wedding reception in a Logan Park. Lived in Japan for a few years. Uh, I've studied Japan both in high school and in college. It's laughing and games today because they met when Chihiro left Japan for grad school in Utah. This is a very happy day for Sam and Chihiro, but with so many people with Japanese ties gathered in one place, the assassination has come up. We heard um, last, last night, night yeah. that Abe got shot. The emotion here is shock, mostly because of the method. The fact that he got killed uh, was a big shock, but on top of that, with a gun, was um, it's just big, big shock. Pretty shocking being an assassin. It's like, oh, well, like a terrorism, because in Japan, it's pretty safe. Almost denial like shock. My daughter Emily teaches English in nearby Osaka. She saw the reactions at work. Because gun crimes are extremely rare in this country. It's usually arson or stabbing. And um, uh, just the fact that, like, why? What, what motive could he have had? While the assassination got some talk time away from the couple. To have such an ally just murdered in cold blood, it's just it's just unfathomable. For the bride and groom, polite guests talked of their new life, cake, and punch. I haven't heard anybody talking to us about it, at least, but I mean, we're the couple, you know. I don't know if they're going to, yeah, I don't know if they're going to talk about it. Brian Champagne, Fox 13 News, Utah.